So Kyle is very much into explosive sprint intense workouts. But now it's an 18 game it's an 18 week season with a 17 game schedule. Uh it seems like he really needs to pace himself with this training. Not just not just in the off season but like maybe during the year too and coach had a very interesting thought sort of incorporating some San Antonio Spurs Greg Popovich principles into the NFL. It may not be just the 49ers. Coach, break it down for us. Okay. So I had this crazy thought and I'm always, I love, I love crazy thoughts because that's how progress starts, right? Like doing something crazy and, and then, you know, that seems crazy. And then, you know, you come up with a new idea and it, and it works um, or, or it doesn't, but you got to try it to see if it does. But my idea, you know, comes from watching the NBA and how they, they, it's a long grueling season. Um, and they give they give guys nights off, right? They give your veter they give veteran guys like LeBron James doesn't play the full I forgot what eighty two game season he'll he he takes nights off and so the other stars do too. Kawhi Leonard is called load management. The whole right. idea load is management. you don't need to play eighty two games. It's a lot. You need to be good for those final two months. And so don't burn yourself out in the regular season. It makes sense. It's a very long yeah. regular season. The NBA it's for, it's was like six months, seven months. Ridiculous. Right. It's a and and now the NFL it's a long NFL season. Yep. There's an extra playoff spot open, and what, especially like if you're, if, especially if you're looking down the road and you can't really position yourself to get the one seed, to get the one seed. Like yeah. if 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 I'm a coach, what's what's more important to me, getting home field advantage or having my guys rested? I think I might take, like, giving my guys rested. And could you do something like, you can schedule it like after your first bye week. Can you, you know, on one week, okay, this is Jason Verrett's week off, and mm -hmm. or maybe with two you two players, so they're not all on the same week. But you give Jason Verrett an extra week off. He doesn't play that week. He doesn't practice because right. that's right. what they do. Don't practice them. You want them. You want their bodies fresh. So right. he doesn't practice that week. Ambry Thomas, you get to start. We're playing. I don't know. We're playing the Bengals. Like, okay, so you'll you'll go out there and. You give them, you give them a week off, and it gives them now with this extra with this extra long season. You you give his body, you give your team an extra, essentially an extra bye week, um, and which it, I think the NFL should do and it needs to do. But you can do it as a coach. Yeah, I think what's going to happen is you're going to see that teams that have later bye weeks are going to have a big advantage the next few years because mm -hmm. they won't have to go like 20 weeks after their early bye week in a row playing to win a super that's hard so i think what that'll be pointed out and it's such a big advantage and it's like out of everyone's control that they'll even it out with the second bye week but until then it seems like the niners this year a good week to do some load management is that thursday night road game in nashville it's late in the season it's pretty much a scheduled loss it's a very far way to go against a good team on a short week and as i said it's late in the season so they should know where they stand whether they can yeah. do it or not my my question to you would be is like the scenario where I I brought up a little earlier is if you're a coach and you're you're out of position to get that one seed and you're guaranteed a playoff spot maybe you're only fighting for home field would you rather give your t team rest for home and or and maybe possibly lose home field or or try to get or try to get the home field I mean well, it'd be tough. it probably be, it might be a, I don't know I mean, you'd say like it'd be a, Unpopular with your teammate to your team Santa to take Clara, him out of contention. Santa Clara ain't Central Link Field. No, it's really not. <laughs> they were what was their record at home last year? They're like one in seven at home last year. Yeah, I mean, I guess it's worth it's worth bringing it up to your leadership council. I mean, yeah, you, guys, yeah. you choose. Do you guys want some time off, or do you guys want to fight for that? They'll probably choose to fight, though. That's the probably. Problem. And then yeah. the other part of it too is with load management that you might have guys that have incentive like a statistic built uh, incentives in our contract like if if Nick, Nick Bosa has to hit double digit sacks and he hasn't hit it like he, he's, he's not going to want to load manage you know that's true still it's something that the, the league should think about because if a team but, could pull it off right it, it could be the reason they win a Super Bowl but also what you could do because you can uh, you can control that part of the contract is I can go to Jed York and be like listen I want to give Nick Bosa this week off just give him his incentive in, in the contract. Like, I, I don't want him out there hunting or whatever. Just give it to him. Smart. And Smart. Yeah. Give him a week off. Yeah. So that's something the Niners can think about. They're going to need to have to go outside the box to fix this injury issue. But 
fortunately for them, the NFL has their back and is imposing sanctions. <laughs> so thank you, league office. Uh, yeah. It'd be so funny if the injury issue goes away this year. You could, you could always lie and be like, why are you giving Jason right off? Oh, the NFL told us uh, he can't play this week. Yeah, or, or his, his stomach hurts. Yeah. <laughs>